Hello everyone and welcome back to another podcast. If you hear any laughing, snorting <laughs> or any other strange noises, that is because we are joined not only by Oliver Jenkins, our head of film, but by Ali Bennett. Hi. You did that without laughing. <laughs> that was good. That was a miracle. <laughs> that was a miracle, yeah. Must it was. Be, uh... So yeah, we, we're doing another podcast today, joined by you two. It's like a tour de office at the moment. Um, try and shed some light on what we're doing here at Profile and most importantly, what you guys are doing in your day-to-day job. So do you want to explain what you guys do? You can go first. No, you can go first, Ollie. Oh, okay. here we go. That's good. Uh, a little back, little backhander back at him. <laughs> <laughs> little one-two. I'm uh, head of video. Um, so I'm in control of client videos, um, our own social media video content, all sorts of stuff, really. Yeah. Good. Enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. Mate, you've, to be fair, just cut you up before you get into your story. You've had a bit of a whirlwind, haven't you, with some of the stuff you've done. If you yeah. wrote it down, under this, with this business, going up in the helicopter, what else have you done? Uh, filming with some pretty huge clients. Mm. Straight out of uni, um, filming with the likes of Hotel Chocolat. I'm just going to name drop yeah. because no, I'm proud it, yeah, of it. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, Hotel Chocolat, uh, Grant Thornton over the past couple of weeks. Magpass going up in the helicopter as well. When there was yeah. three camera crews there, BBC, ITV and you. Yeah. Us, you. That was yeah, that, was, big, that yeah. was epic. That's mad. Yeah. yeah. Love that. Yeah. And Ali, what do you do here and where, you come, where have you come from? So I am part of the social media team. So I look after a range of accounts, um, mm-hmm. social media like Facebook, Instagram, posting weekly uh, updates for them with different types of content. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And you are the queen, of the, po- the queen of the podcast. You're the one that put all this together. I am indeed. I've dragged you on yourself. This is my first one. Yeah. So it's important for us to do stuff like this, I think, isn't it? Certainly if you, mm. you, you, you uh, are keen on it. Um, we've got the equipment, we've got the facility. Yeah. I want and the, desi- the desire, can't get words out, <laughs> want and desire to do it. It's, I think it's, we're talking a lot at the moment about social media strategies and how mm. we can build our marketing pillars. And I think yeah. one key point of that is putting out audio. Yeah, definitely. Not only can it go out as audio footage, but also mm. we can have it on our social media. Yeah. Viewers might know that we're not filming it anymore, which is an interesting move. Um, it probably just allows us to concentrate more on the spoken word. It's quite a quite a slick edit for me as well then. Yeah. All I have to do is sort of work out the wavelength. And Which then... means we can increase our volume. Yeah. yeah. yeah put so out a lot more content. Yeah, especially for clients as well. Yeah. So they yeah, can definitely. come in and record a lot slicker and yeah. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I think the decision to stop filming was epic. Yeah, mm. definitely uh, creates more focus on what's actually definitely. being said. Yeah. Yeah. You um, for, it forces you to actually listen. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the option's still there though for mm-hmm. a client as well if they if they want it filming but then also audio at the same time that's still there it's still an option for them yeah so and then it could be put, like, be put out on different yeah. sort of platforms as well yeah which is good so Ali you're working in distribution of the content that we're putting together Ollie you're actually making mm-hmm. you're producing the content mm-hmm. it's an interesting synergy between you two because I suppose, Ali, you're working on accounts that have no video content whatsoever. Yeah. How nice is it when you've got some of real video content to put out to people? It's good because it, it shows something different, especially like some of the clients that Ollie's done videos for. We've then used those for uh, cover, like photo slash videos. Yeah. When you brings bring, a page to life, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And it, it shows something different that not many pages do. And then quite a few of our clients that have had previous videos have seen that and said, oh, can mm. you put that up on mine as well? Um, just shows like a different different side to it. I think there's so much value in having an afternoon's filming at a business because you can walk away with it with not only a two to three minute promo video of what you do, how you do it and why you're so good at it and what's special. Yeah. You can, it really encapsulates the, the heartbeat of a business. Definitely, you can also get yeah. digital assets, which they are, little, little snippets for social media. I feel like people like you, Ali, can put out with little call to actions, little sales funnels. Mm. Yeah. I think they're epic. I think, yeah, just those two to three minute mm. promo videos showing everything they get shared about so much on Facebook by friends, family and it draws in like so many potential yeah, clients yeah, yeah. for a business yeah um, I think everyone likes to see people they know on camera don't they yeah yeah definitely like what we did um, like the ones Ali was saying about the cover videos yep. we did um, MJC Tree Care which was 
like an amazing video. It was chopping down this. That was a wicked video, by the way. Yeah, like really ridiculously cool. high tree, and we've got it all in slow mo coming down, yeah. and like mm. chopping up all the little bits of wood, and it it shows like to any potential customer, it shows oh right, like that's the whole process. They sort it all out. They clean up the site afterwards. It's that, really was, that was a cool video because the tree was huge, wasn't it? Yeah. Massive tree, yeah. branch by branch. They brought it down, yeah. stump, start chopping it. And then they had the stump grinder out, yeah. which it made it back to grass, wasn't it? Yeah. You didn't even know the tree was there. Yeah, it's such a, such a professional job by the business that what we be- are filming for. What, we what, just show that for them. Yeah, what better way to, than to film it? Yeah. It's per- you could talk about it all day long, but if you yeah. show people, it illustrates it perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and at the top of the page as well, it's like yeah, two minutes just top, straight away. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows what, what you yeah. do yeah it's really good and they they see the face of the person who's going to come to yeah. them as well yeah yeah, yeah. Definitely. so they already know oh he seems like a nice yeah. guy yeah, he's yeah, going to yeah. come mm. so breeds trust cause yeah you've, you've seen it it's wicked mm. I, I absolutely love video content i think it's something that we'd we'd you and me ali are talking about doing it more for our business mm. luckily we've got you under our roof like just like we spoke about earlier and i think we should start using it a bit more uh dynamically coming like with mm. some campaigns yeah, like, we we should be showing everyone what how what c- what can be done in the digital world. Mm-hmm. I also like the fact that I could just say to you, Ollie, like at three pm in the afternoon, can we make something cool to put out? And it's done. We make yeah. film Speed. it, edit it, and it's done, and it can be put out before we leave the office. That, that is day. why that is the strength we have by having people in house. Yeah, definitely. But relying on someone externally which wasn't, for it. which wasn't always the case mm. like, like yesterday we literally we came up with an idea we want to sort of show sort of how our meetings are different so mm-hmm. we've got a new pool table so we thought okay let's get a nice little shot of a ball going in I mean yeah. it did take a few takes <laughs> yeah. <on the line. laughs> yeah so those of you that haven't seen it or might you might see it it's a really slick break well, they wanted to get one particular ball, the, the left-hand corner ball at the edge to go straight in the end pocket. So they actually did that. Yeah. Until it. Um, it was a good for at least forty-five yeah. minutes. That was. I mean, it was my fault because I'm not very good at pull. <laughs> but then Ollie had a go and it, ten goes and it was done. So. <laughs> <laughs> T- only ten. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I had about thirty, and I was just getting, getting Quite nowhere. Frustrated. Yeah, I was getting right? frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> so I think with that, it's like. We came up with the concept and then we literally filmed it, edited it all within the space of an hour. Mm. And then I just hand that over to Ali and it's distributed exactly how we want it. So we The cool thing about that type of content as well is mm. that it shows people what sort of environment we're working in. It's not a, it's not a youth club, it's not a, yeah. you know, a pub. Yeah. But it is a nice relaxed environment where we're trying to breed creativity. Mm-hmm. Mm. And if in quite a square environment and a square world, digital computers, sitting at your desk, I think it's really nice to have somewhere where people can come and. and if you want, so if you, you want to come and have a meeting, you know, have a game pool, what's having a meeting? How cool is that? Relaxed yeah. environment. Yeah, definitely, mm. definitely, definitely. So, let's talk about um, actually video and on sites for us, some of our clients. What have you have enjoyed it so far? What challenges have you had to overcome? Um, what's the biggest? <sighs> Um, you've done a media, you did media studies and film was it film and media yeah film, film and media, media studies which you got a first in may I add <laughs> I don't want to brag <laughs> yeah, I don't want to brag but I would um, but yeah I mean so now you've been in the real world for yeah. quite a while now so like yeah um, I haven't really faced that many challenges um, I mean it's just because you're so good at your job that's why <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's mainly um making sure that we deliver what the client wants absolutely um and i feel like i i look into jobs quite a lot so even sort mm-hmm. of the the cheaper videos that we provide the smaller ones the, yeah the small yeah. smaller ones less complicated yeah like there's still as much thought go into that yeah definitely pre-planned so even if it's a one minute promo there will still be an, as much thought Definitely. go into that to provide for the client um, in order to attract like the end user. Like We're always thinking, mm. what does the end user want to mm. see? So when they're scrolling through their phone on Facebook, they don't 
they don't want a 10 minute promo no. video they mm. want a one minute snippet of what the business is on their facebook easy to watch and i, th- I feel like you know every, every video goes through a review process where you send it to the client and then if they want some changes we provide that um and then we we basically just do that until the yeah. client is happy yeah normally it's pretty close isn't it straight away yeah yeah i i can't think of a video that we've done that's required a major edit no um it's it's usually just like oh can you change the font or mm-hmm. maybe a bit of text or I don't really like that shot. Can you just take that one out and replace mm. it with another? Um, so, yeah. I'd, I'd like to think we're quite easy to work with mm. on that front. The My biggest concern with your department was managing your workload because it's easy to sell videos as well. And that's another thing to think about. I think you've done a really good job of that, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Managing what's yeah. upcoming, the edits, like editing. People yeah. don't realise when you say... Do you, well, you explain how much edit is involved. Yeah. So, we, we've been... With a, am I allowed to say the client? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Grant Thornton. Who? Who? Uh, Grant Thornton. <laughs> if nobody, nobody heard that. But, uh, um, yeah. So they had quite an extensive list of um, requirements. So with like branding for the video, and uh, in total, we edited. Well, I I edited sixteen <laughs> videos. Wow. In the space of three or four days mm. uh, because they wanted it turned around for their mm-hmm. event which is on the 12th 12th I'm sure it was like maybe it's it was the, the 14th ni- today oh it was the 19th it was the 19th <laughs> <laughs> we haven't delivered it late I promise <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the 19th they had an event on and um, I basically just had to get all 16 videos done and you know even with some overtime we still provide you know, just for the record, I had um, I thought they were incredible, and my contact on site that I've known I've known for many years messaged me last night. Actually, I didn't tell you. He said it, they were incredible. They said blown away. Yeah, and, and do you know what I said to him? I said thanks for the opportunity and stuff. And he's like, no, mate, thank you for delivering it. Like yeah. I thought you could. Mm. So that's hats off to you. Yeah. All right, well, we were all there, weren't we? The three yeah. of us that were there. Yeah. yeah. Dream team. Yeah, Ali yeah. was Ali oh, was covering that? the social side. Yeah. yeah, which is important as well. I and think. also acting in the uh, videos. Oh, yeah. you've got to get that in. She, mm-hmm. yeah. I have. She's got to get that in. <laughs> she, she pretends she's embarrassed about it to yeah. us. I'm so excited. She I drops it my, in the podcast. My debut. <laughs> debut. Debut. <Yeah. laughs> that was good. Good days filming. And it's good like for me to get content for our page as well. Mm-hmm. We got a lot of stuff out that day, like Instagram stories on ours uh, mm-hmm. and posts, because we did two, was it two locations? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. did two locations. Um, but I just like it was interesting as well because that was the first time I'd been with you guys mm. and it was just interesting to see sort of Ollie mm-hmm. I've yeah. seen you do your bits in the office and our stuff but yeah. not actually for like, I, don't, I don't think everyone realises how long it takes today honestly I didn't so like a shot for example of let's just say a digger which yeah. is the one we did mm. yeah. you'll, you'll get 20 different versions of that one particular shot yeah it's just you walking backwards and forwards yeah backwards and forwards I was trying to stop you from shot. getting run over as well wasn't I when that's you it. were just getting the same <laughs> shot and I was like no you're fine there's no cars that, that's, that's kind of sums us up as a business though like with the, the attention the detail yeah. that you take I'm exactly the same with mm. my posts like when I used to do my posts yeah me you have in the to day, through them yeah, over and over again yeah mm. yeah well, I think it is interesting though I think it's important for the social media team so Ali Leanne you know to come out and see sort of what we do as mm-hmm. well mm. um, because I think it then gives them a better idea of um, sort of how to output yeah. video content. So if they see it being filmed, definitely, then like they know content. how to caption yeah. mm-hmm. stuff. What we're putting out, yeah, definitely. Um, I think that really helps mm. them being on site as well. Mm-hmm. It'll be the same for when we go next week as well. Yeah. Do you know so, what? Do you know what? Yeah. I, like, I think I think that now you said that. I think I would like the, some of the sales team to come and see that happening as well. Yeah, definitely. So they can appreciate the, the, the time and the length that goes into um, filming of that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to write that down there. Yeah, and I think well, as Ali just mentioned, like next week, she's coming to one of her social media clients who have booked in a video. Yeah. Mm. 
So she's going to go and see the whole process of the video being made, but then also, at the same time, she's going to be able to capture... We just bought a new camera. Yeah, she can have. capture so- social media content. For Amazing. me to use in the future as well. Yeah. Yeah. And she can and capture that. something about, isn't there, taking photos of someone taking, taking a, video. a video. Yeah, I yeah. just love it's it. Brilliant. It looks brilliant. It's like an action shot, isn't it? Yeah. Leanne but is the best at that, though. She is the queen of the, the she's video. She's good, very good at what she does. She is. Very, very good. But, excuse me, <laughs> I think we've all got, I think we've all got <laughs> special um, you know, and unique qualities that, mm. that make us so special. And that's what, I think that's, I think we were like that at the beginning. What was my phone vibrating? Mm. Oh dear, phone call. <laughs> Epic professionals away. <laughs> right, so let's talk about clients that are thinking about getting videos or have done in the past. What would you say, you two, to anyone that's thinking about getting a video for their business? Do it. Why? Because it brings such a different, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not perspective, but like you see the business in a different way. Like we were saying, if someone's a potential client for them, they're scrolling through Facebook and they see that, they instantly see what mm-hmm. they do mm-hmm. in a minute video. And it just, it, I feel like it cuts out the scrolling through the page just to get an idea of what's actually, the, like the company does, if that makes any sense. It encapsulates yeah. the whole company Thank in you, that one, was, yeah, a minute. one yeah. video sort of thing. And you can have... You can have a mix of information on that video, like contact mm. details. Yeah. You don't necessarily need to have that in the caption because it will be stuck to the video. We we can tailor it however mm. the client wants, basically. Mm. One of the most powerful marketing tools, I think, right now is video paired with a call to action mm. put out via advert yeah. targeting your potential customer or client, or demographic. It is so powerful. Mm-hmm. But it you really know, is. You say ad is the mo- like a bit the best way to put it out. So Ollie did an amazing video for Vintage I'm talking Canva. about just talking about just like as a sales funnel. Yeah, yeah. So, but I just wanted to put it out there that Ollie did an amazing video for Vintage Camper. Mm-hmm. I love you. that video. Thank it's you. brilliant. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's pinned to the top of the page on the cover photo as well. And I think it got like three thousand views or something like that and, and that was without an ad without a boost that was just purely so organically organically yeah, getting yeah. Big it was gains. brilliant yeah. and i think it's because the video was so professional and so well put together the editing's brilliant yeah but look if they've got an amazing little camper van mm. you could write that and to some extent take pictures about that all day long mm. with a 10 second clip of it you'd be like oh wow cool. yeah it's amazing so I, I see it not the mm. one I, I really see it. i yeah. see you like yeah, and then they can start imagining and envisioning. Uh, the best best thing about that it's was... It's powerful content, isn't it? It's yeah, like it's really definitely. hard hitting. It's, yeah. it's legit. Yeah, and they had like a bride there in the wedding dress. And yeah, wow. It it was like now, now, you're selling, now you're selling the end result. Yeah, mm. people get a picture of it then. Mm-hmm. They, can, they can picture themselves, themselves with the video. Yeah. Going to their own wedding in yeah. the camper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I it's thought really, it was so really cool. valuable you're selling, content. You're selling the dream there a little bit, aren't you? And yeah. w- we've also also... Added. You said also twice. Also, <laughs> also, also. We also, also, also. <laughs> also, also. <laughs> we have uh, sort of slipped out. You didn't mention that, did you? <laughs> no. We, 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 we. It's like the Vicar of Dibley. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Yeah, like, oh I'm my good. God, I'm so old. Let Ollie talk. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Also, just one. Also, this also. is why I'm usually quiet behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've also... Added also, the, uh, <laughs> the, Sorry, go. the uh, vintage camper video. We've also added that to their website. Sick. So yeah, on the slider. It's not just limited to yeah. one post. And Instagram. Mm-hmm. So it's on their Instagram yeah. TV. It's on... Mega website. Mega website. Mm. Cover photo. Facebook, Facebook cover. Yeah, it's brilliant. This is another controversial thing to say. So we're pretty much all we've spoken about so far is sales-based video content. Mm-hmm. I... For bigger businesses, love video content that's enough to do sales. Meet the team. Yeah. Talk yeah. to them about comedy clubs. Comedy clubs. Yeah. Like, just show me that. That was the chair. Yeah. <laughs> that was the chair. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. All right, all right. Oh, what, are you, what are you saying to me? What is it? Oh, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> I love that type of content that's not salesy. Like, mm. don't 
doesn't, something different. Doesn't have to be salesy. Just like sh- just show people your customer, your blah 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 blah. Show the amazing people who you that, are. Yeah, who yeah. you are. Yeah, show, just show people. It's it's really pa- it's like so powerful. Like in the comedy club that we do, not only get, do you get to see us all having a laugh and a joke, which means you think it's a nice place to work, which it is. You get to meet people, their jokes, and it's like it's amazing. Little mm. testimonial clips. Yeah, mm. doesn't have to be expensive. But yeah. this, the, the the return on that investment is massive because you you're creating content that's believable, it's credible, you know. It's like yeah, definitely. Not everything has to be a sales promo. Mm. I think so many people fall into that trap, mm. especially Ali with even not just with social media posts. Forgetting video, yeah. Like I would say, all businesses do Facebook posts, but they don't really do them. Mm. Like so much more varied content, news, blogs. Testimonial, articles yeah. testimonials like let you let your customers polls, sell it for you yeah. polls like Get the engagement, engagement yeah. video content little walkthroughs little tours doesn't all have to be selling stuff yeah. like people get so people no, nobody goes on facebook to be sold to no you, you just scroll yeah. for something to look at don't you yeah comedy club would be way more interested than me waffling on the camera about how good our websites are yeah definitely but if you're watching comedy club you had a laugh or a giggle you think who are these guys let me have a look. Yeah, definitely. Let me click on the website. Oh, they do videos. Do they do mm. websites? Yeah. They're the sort of people I want to do business with. You know what I mean? Like, that's the now you're in. Yeah. I think there'll be a big, mark my words, there'll be a big shift in people's mentality of this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think video content, the more casual, the more relaxed it is, the more yeah. fun, the more jovial sometimes, Not depending on what sort of business you are, the bigger the results. And it is good to mix it up as well, because if it's the same thing all the time, it gets so boring to look at, doesn't it, really? So you're our kind of you're turning into our events queen. I am. Podcasting, I have got a little doing like the events. events. Management. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> um, what do you see coming up for us around the corner? What so like? Yeah, like what's 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 important right now for you? I don't want to say the Christmas party. Yeah, well it's, it's coming up. So you it's coming say. up. Is there anything <laughs> on the board that's upcoming? <laughs> the Christmas party. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, definitely. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do next when the comedy club? I'm not sure. So I was champion. thinking about this. Yeah, that's true. Um, so there's there's like the Christmas jumper day, like yes. maybe an office Olympics. Office, Ooh, yeah. Office Olympics. Yeah, food eating competition maybe or something hot, like that. Hot dog eating competition. Yeah, that's oh what I mean. God, something like that. that. So good. Something like that. Or an Ando's eating competition. I'd definitely win that. Hot dogs would be good. Yeah. Yeah. But stuff just like something different. And also as well, when we're all sitting at the desk all day, if we spend 20 minutes filming something, yeah, it breaks amazing. the day up. And it is. sort of like, not team building, but do you it know what I mean? It is though, it is. We, do we you think? Every, yeah, yeah definitely. 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 Especially the comedy club, because mm. it's hilarious. Ollie's, Ollie's editing of the comedy club videos, <laughs> just, I can't. So I watch them over and over again. Yeah, those so of you funny. that haven't seen the latest comedy club video, it's really, really funny. Some really uh, expensive anim- animations. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's took him such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Ollie, though? Those like the king of animation. Yeah, they, they were like they kind of make it. Definitely. Yeah. So look, how quickly did you put them together? The comedy club. Yeah, the edit, just the edit. The one the other day, probably an hour, maybe even less. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I was very surprised even, at how quickly you did it. I was like, oh my god, and yeah. it looks wicked. I love Stav's yeah. fuming red face fuming as well. Red face, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I Definitely need to get some steam, to steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> yeah. No, you got to have a bit of fun with it, you know. Mm. And it, what's important for me is varying the content that I make because yeah. mm. it keeps me interested. Mm-hmm. So I've gone from really corporate videos to our comedy club. Yeah. So it's a, it's a mix of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm improving my skills in every aspect yeah. rather than just focusing on one type of video. I can do a lot, which th- is important. I think a big thing that we've been good at there's a slight caveat to this is being consistent with what we do as well like we did the vlog for 30 odd episodes mm-hmm. nearly a year we stopped when we came here because things got crazy your time was very very tight at, the, at that point yeah now, now you're full time maybe we should look at maybe doing bringing something back with that mm-hmm. but up to that point we stuck at it as well which which I think is a, patience is a, a big thing with this yeah yeah I think with the vlog, we could potentially move it, move it on into move it forward. Mm. Yeah, staff based. Yeah, staff based. Documentation. Maybe. Start document our days a little bit more. Projects yeah. we're working on. 
dive more into individuals around the office and how showing off their skill set and things that they're working on the fun projects mm-hmm. maybe yeah it's a really good thing we've got like a really confident set of people in the office now as well so like terry yeah. she stands out she's, she's brilliant. brilliant on camera yeah she, we, 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 we did the uh, the last podcast was with terry yeah. and will and it was, it was absolutely was it good? Yeah. yeah really really yeah. good really good they spoke they spoke about um sales sales is quite a dirty word in in the world yeah. like but nobody likes talking about sales yeah but i think um it was good because you can meet the real people behind it and they're not mm. blood sucking it's not just blood, a, blood sucking werewolves phone, yeah. you know that they're actually like just people trying to deliver a great product because yeah i said this in the last podcast profile is a was born out of just trying to help people achieve more online mm. that's it yeah that's why that's why we're here yeah and they are facilitating that for other people, which is which is cool. Like the soul of the business is good. We're not ripping people off. We're not being mm. we're not horrible. You know, it, sorry, just Thanks. kicked you on the table. <laughs> you, you, I can't see. <laughs> it was a good, uh, t- nearly a double foot tackle. That was straight yeah, through the shin bone. Day, studs up, <laughs> yeah, studs up, yeah. <laughs> oh, so that's it. Someone just give me a red card. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it was. It's born out of a good place and. Mm. I always knew that we needed a set of sales team to drive us forward. It's like it's like the coal in a steam engine. Mm. Those guys are the ones that keep feeding the coal into the engine, which allows the train to get bigger and to take more people and help more people on our journey. That's the that's the important thing. We're trying to help people. Yeah, we're not that's trying it. to sell stuff and purely make money. I was actually nervous about getting two salespeople on the yeah. podcast. Like it's a bit, they're like yeah. it's a bit of a dirty word, isn't it? But yeah. I absolutely love sales. I think it's, it really um, yeah. gets me going. Should we say? I'm not going to say what I would normally say off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I was saying, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just. <laughs> All right, let, moving on. I just did a visual. Yeah, moving on. Yeah. Do you want to see it? No. no. <laughs> I'll get the camera. Just to prove I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited right now. Okay. Um, yeah, that's been that's been a nice chat. So, um, what's next for you, Ollie? What have you got on your pipe? On your pipeline? On your pipe? There we go. <laughs> on your pipeline. Um. Currently, there's three videos I sent out yesterday, which are under nice, review nice, nice, with the nice. clients, and then we've got uh, we got loads of stuff booked in with One Leisure, um, Out Out Nightclub in St Ives has just opened up. We've got a video booked in with them next week. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, all sorts range of stuff, which is good. Good stuff. And also all of our profile stuff. Yeah, as well, yeah. All the little bits we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, the, the podcast has moved into a more private setting now uh, anyone listening that thinks their business or they've got a something to talk about whether it be mental health or anything like that come and use the space mm. uh, it's not expensive at all it represents huge value you can come and record as much as you want if you've got something on your chest and you want to come and say it give us a call send us a message get in touch and we'd love to help you out with that unless you're a uh, an idiot and don't bother <laughs> <laughs> we have no this is a non idiot office um, Alright, cool. You happy? Finished? Yeah. Finished? Yeah. Yep, wrap it up. Well done. Yeah, nice one. Cheers. Enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah it was good. good, yeah. Good stuff. Well, I think you, t- you two are shining lights in this office, so thanks. It's, it's a pleasure to have you on. Um, okay, cool. Those of you that have watched and enjoyed it, thanks. Those of you that haven't, don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, nice one. Thank you very much, everyone. Cheers. Bye bye.